somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn folks today we are taking a look at 2009's underworld rise of the lichens now this one's gonna be a little bit different because we got a new lead and it's uh rona mitra so she's gonna be taking over I'm just, I've been enjoying this story. I've been enjoying the uh, the mythology, if you will, of the series. And apparently a ton of you out there loved it as well. Well, you know, this is a prequel, I guess. So we get to see how it all starts, so to speak. So I'm ready, willing, and able to see how the Lycans came to be. I'm ready, willing, and able to see them with a larger budget. <laughs> and hopefully, Please. hopefully Better CG. The, uh, Hi. the Lycans, uh, when they turn into uh, werewolves, uh, a little bit a uh, little bit easier on the eyes but 2009 it's been a fun series so far easy to look like, easy to yeah, pick some easy fun one. and throw some jabs at but they've been fun movies so uh i i didn't know it was a, a prequel until uh right there <laughs> oh <laughs> just said it right yeah. now well you had to figure uh, that with rise of the lichens uh, well you never know they knows could've... i thought maybe like from where we were at moving forward they gained more power yeah. um shall do you see. know if it's actually a prequel or were you guessing yeah. because well, of rise of the lichens i'm pretty sure it is with the rise of the lichens well, only one way to find out well only else. one way to find out like quinn said so let's, let's go, go. increased his army to protect them from the very first clan of werewolves, unable to take human form mm -hmm. ever again, until he was born. Oh! Lucian. Lucian was our guy from the first one. He did not. Over the years, this child grew. He possessed a strength and focus that the ones before him did not. Jesus! Oh, ooh, these these guys who play the punch. role of trainees. Oh, look ooh. at that. Shall we make more? Of him? Lucian will always be the first of the breed. Victor would use Lucian's infectious blood to his benefit, pitting it against him as he was forced to feed on humans. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Sending him in. He doesn't want to be fed. He wants to hunt. <laughs> Oh, I would say they upped the budget for this one. Uh, uh, from the glimpse that we yeah. just got, it definitely looks a little better. He created a new race of immortals. Lycans, enslaved to guard them in the daylight hours of their masters. Or so Victor thought. It's like Dom Toretto said, the problem with fighting a tiger is you can never take your knee off its neck. Uh, just like, uh... Is that that's what Dom thing? Toretto said? That's yep. a thing. That's the thing with a street fight. Street always wins. Always wins. The nobles are upset, my lord. William's my pestilence age. has not been checked. Tanis, please, take a note of what pain that brings. <laughs> <laughs> he just smiles. We will deal with the wolves as we always have. I don't think he likes that idea. Well, we're a couple minutes in, and I think I have to concede that answer was right. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, uh, it is indeed a prequel. Oh, they just sent out one guy? Or is that all that's left? Well, <laughs> I may have spoken too, <laughs> too early. Too soon. <laughs> too soon, Junior. Yeah, yep, I may have as well. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's roll with the story. Oh! Look at that. Oh, that was pretty cool. Oh, oh those are those things again. <laughs> Gee, they're oh, they... getting awfully close to their guy, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Hey, there Where she is. is. Have you nothing better to do, Blacksmith, than play with weapons of war? A little gratitude, Sonia. Tell me, Lucian, does it burden your heart to kill your own kind? Not at all. They're mindless beasts, my lord. Father. Look at that collar. Ooh. Yeah. 
Keep your eyes on the ground. Get rid of that. If I look down, I'm going to stab my neck with this collar. I told you to stay within these walls. And why, father, is my risk any greater than theirs? They are not my daughters, and they are not council members. And one day you will become an elder. Your birthright. They grow tired of your games. Without the loyalty between us, we are no better than the beasts at our door. Ooh, it's torture. Oh, look at it. Oh, it changes. Yeah. What the heck? What are, what are we building there? Yeah. Oh, are they building their castle that they have? Looks like they're building something out of the mountain, out of stone. I can't! <laughs> Enough. Will that always be his favorite? How much more? I will be there. Let us hope so. What are you looking at? Get back to work! Well, everybody just saw who's really in charge. Jesus. We are under attack. Six times in half as many weeks. Are we not protected by an army of immortals? The nobles are not. And as I have pointed out, they are the grass on which we graze. Lycans patrol outside the walls. Uh, have you lost your mind? I think your fear of this idea is misplaced. We can create a privileged class of lycans and put them under the hand of one we trust, the one who saved your daughter's life today. I think we should hear her thoughts in this matter. <laughs> <laughs> she seems to have been needed elsewhere. Again. Oh. I will take your suggestion under advisement. Thank you. It would be gratifying to be able to reassure when they arrive tomorrow that we have their interests at heart. I suppose you got all the people that live mm. in your area yep. getting attacked by like yep. all nonstop. And then if, if they're all gone, what are the vamps going to feed on? Whoops. <laughs> Free climbing like a mm. boss. Yeah, that's uh, pretty impressive there. You know who else was a pretty good fleet climber was uh, Bella. <laughs> she was. <laughs> uh, she was uh, out hunting for the first time and mm -hmm. saw a dude on the mountain yep. a mile away who scratched himself. Lady. <laughs> Is this the start of their oh, forbidden so, love? Yep, they must have a thing. Sonia, if I were to leave from here, would you come with me? Leave? Do not even think it. They would hunt you down and they would mark you like all the others. Not if I could remove this. Look, I made it. This will be my freedom. Lucian, promise me you won't use it. So you want me to stay here for you? Like this, like an animal? I will use this key and I will leave this place. Uh, look at this shifty guy. No. Well, he's he's, uh, he's probably into Sonia too yeah, to make it even worse. Yeah. yeah. Any news of my daughter? She is most defiant. Will not answer her door. She risks her seat on the council and for what? I cannot imagine. Oh, well, he didn't tell him. Hmm. Wonder why I didn't say anything. Uh, I don't know that the human nobles are going to make it. <laughs> Uh, those don't look like nobles. There's the nobles. Oh, they probably had to bring slaves yeah. for the... For lunch. Ooh, they're pretty far away. Yeah. The shark and the wolf will stand before it. Ready the horses. Let someone else go. Why? I am quite capable of looking after myself. Well, yeah. I'd uh, take care of three of them for you last night. Yep. Yeah. You can watch over me from the wall. Your father has ordered you to stay behind. I intend to see our guests safely through the gate. Your father is ruler of the coven. So he keeps reminding me. Ha! Oh, oh. She... Sorry, Victor. Yeah. She wouldn't listen to me. I tried. Wow. Careful, blacksmith. Lest your eyes betray your secret. Oh, let you know. Shut it, my child. Shut it. Well, he knows. Get your men out there now! <laughs> Down, boy, your leech is too tight. Oh, that was a cool shot. Oh. Oh. Doing some Red Dawn stuff. Coming up out of the ground. 
Oh, oh that, that dude, yeah. See how he got his start. Oh, oh. right in the face. Whoa. Oh, right in half. Oh, in the oh tunnel. it's like a den. Oh, oh, right through the mouth. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, boy. Oh, now he can change. Yeah, they couldn't change yeah, before. Cause the yeah, because the spikes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they found the alpha. All right, now, first off, guys, just back off mm -hmm. of the trailer and get back to where your homes were. Hey, look, guys, I need everybody to do me a solid. Hey. Kind of got a thing going on. Hey. Girl here. You see the hey. lady to my right? You guys yeah. are really, really killing my vibe here. <laughs> oh. Am I not master of this house? Yet you break my law after I gave you your life. Your days of plush living are over. Father, leave him be. Get her out of here. Burn the body. Burn them all. So is he, Victor, just going to lock Sonia away? 30 lashes. Oh. You have stung me, Lycan, with your betrayal. You were like a son to me. I gave you your life. You gave me chains. You cannot have one. Without the other. Oh, and it's this guy, too. Oh, oh no. that's oh, not a normal. No. That's not a normal no, whip. No, no, no. It's like some Simon Belmont stuff. Mm. Oh. Ugh. God. It's got a water baker's dozen or so to yeah, go Yeah, at least. Stop this. Here's one of our protectors. They are the beasts themselves. Do you see now, Coleman? You would trust them outside the walls. By my count, that's 21. Continue. <laughs> Stay away from him. Your concern for Lucian was most touching. He had just saved my life. Have you no gratitude for the one who saved your daughter's life? That he lives shows the breadth of my magnanimity. Were it any other circumstances, I would have had him fed in pieces to his own. Magnanimity. Mm. Word of the day calendar. He will be freed. Freed? Lucian was forbidden to remove his collar, and yet he did so. He will remain in prison. A cautionary tale. There goes your yeah. cliff adventures. Mm -hmm. Your presence is expected. Oh, she's not going to like that. Very brave. For a human. Have you come across them before? stories were you not afraid of them yes are you afraid of me yes well did not be i like them yes but not like them savage mindless beasts they obeyed you yes they did it's like i said man mm -hmm. they knew who the alpha was every pack has to have one uh oh, you should not be here yeah you should not be here he trusted. No, tell me he knows about us. If he still has not told your father, then that must mean he wants something. Sonia, find mm -hmm. out what it is. How? Maybe when you were walking out of the blacksmith <laughs> shop? <laughs> yeah. In the middle of the night? In the middle of the courtyard or whatever you want to call that? But what does Tannis want? Bring them in. What else has she all been in? She was in some post-apocalyptic movie that took place in England. I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember her being in a lot. Uh, she was in a uh, shooter with Mark Wahlberg as like a bit part. Jan, do you not own the largest silver mine in these lands? It has been overrun, my lord. I think half the rights to your mine should cover the expense. We have all seen the fires on the way here. The wolves are at your door as well. Oh, a noble no. human. And the devils that have made our land. Oh, he's done. Yeah, Donzo's. Fasten here. Bring your food to these filthy mongrels. Yeah, dogs. 
Is this what you want to be their entertainment? They're playthings cowering beneath a whip and then fighting amongst ourselves. We are not animals. We can be slaves or we can be lightens. Yeah, not quite getting the response I think he was hoping oh. for. Oh, that guy. I think they're all like, we're listening. It's time we left this wretched night behind. With Lucian gone, we must promote another Lycan in his place. Gone? Coleman thinks he will stir the others. We must remove him. Oh. Mm. Perhaps Georg. Or Thrasos. Excellent suggestion. What about uh, Craven? There's the necklace. Mm-hmm. Look at him writing his short stories. <laughs> What have you told my father? Nothing. Why? Why what? Why have you told him nothing? Because I love you. Because I believe in true love. <laughs> he isn't well known for his gratitude. And I'm not yet in a position to use this for my benefit. There are 12 council seats. And we don't die often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what if I gave up my seat at council? Can you keep a secret? Ooh. <laughs> I will need something in return. Okay, that was rather interesting. Mm. Two minutes. Any longer is too risky. Why are they well, running on bread and breakfast? Didn't give you much time to get to the cliff. Oh, have to figure out something else. Just, just bite her. See what happens. Remember. He will help us in exchange for a seat on the council. And your father knows nothing. I think some of the others will come with me. Savas and Crystal, the human race. My, my father will have you killed tomorrow after the humans return. The best chance you have is when Victor and the Death Dealers sleep. If this plan works, I'll meet you in three days' time after the sun sets. There's a clearing by the river. I'll meet you there. And if it doesn't? I will meet you at the clearing. She's cereal. All right. Be brave, you. You know what your problem is? You don't understand the natural order of things. Oh, he gave him his key Consider back. A parting gift. Well, he oh. knows that if the daughter like leaves to go be in Lerv, mm -hmm. there's gonna be a spot open on uh, the a seat any wall. There'll be a seat there anyway. Yeah. Even if she doesn't leave it to him. Oh, so they bring in the slaves to feed them to the lichens, yeah. so they can keep the lichens as slaves. They gotta feed them somehow. Oh. Do you not realize this is a gift I am giving you? No, oh, they're okay. They're just biting them to make more. Yep. They're not That's feeding why, them at all. That's why yeah. They're chained up. Yep. Yeah. What have they done to us? Find out soon enough. They turned us into them, like you. Yes. He wants to use you for his own protection. I leave this place. Anyone willing to take the risk may follow me. There is a new life waiting beyond these walls, my friend. You can be a part of it. Or we'll stay and serve them. Hmm. At that point, I'd rather, you know, hedge my bets and do it. Yeah, make a run for it. I mean, it's a full moon. You got that in your favor. It's always a full moon. New dogs today. Let's he see was how in, they look. Oh, he was in Braveheart, wasn't he? I don't know. Oh, I haven't I seen he Braveheart. Braveheart. Oh, oh, well, he's not in this movie anymore. No, it's, I don't think he's going to be in the sequel. Oh, told you he would get his. Yeah. That's the response he wanted. Man, he's got, he's, they he's, got organized rather quick. Yeah, he's got to get them collars off, though. They do have them off, it looks like. Oh, I don't, I'm not liking this vibe. He's lost. I'm worried Victor knows everything and it's a trap. Oh, you think, uh, old boy. Tannis? Tannis? No! To the double cross? Oh! Yeah, getting multiple people at once. Yeah. These things. Oh. oh! Oh! Right in the jaw! Oh, that one was nasty. 
Oh, they're oh. pinning them. Oh, I see what they did there. I will come back. I promise you. Smart move by yeah, those guys. Hey, everybody fire shoot, them there. Shoot all the arrows, make a wall. My lord, Lucian has escaped. Look at that. Oh, it's vaporized. Forrest, go. Go. He's like, I can't believe I made the landing. Yeah. <laughs> he aimed for the bushes. Aim for the bushes. See, they can go out in the sunlight. Yep. He can't. My lord. Oh, that was cool. Each and every one. It's Tannis! Where is the key I gave you for this? I locked it in the armory myself. How then is it open? Oh no. no. There has to be an explanation. Show me. I get the vibe that Tannis had his bases covered. We did not all make it out, and I will not leave our brothers to rot back there. The noble who brought you here, can you lead us back to his estate? Yes. Good. Come on! Oh, I thought there was oh. something up in the trees yeah, watching somebody them. watching or spying. Yeah, it was interesting the way they did that shot. It has to be here. Ah. Uh. He must have made another one. I never doubted you. Oh, <laughs> sure you didn't. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, wow. Covered your bases there, buddy. I'm assuming he knew it was there, but I still like how he, like, scuttled around like, it's, it's gotta be here. You can run and hide, or you can stay and fight. There are other estates to the west of here. I want you to go there, see how many will join us. I will meet you back here in two days' time. <laughs> See, using a rock to sharpen his axe. Now where is he poking around? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Is he going to see that it leads somewhere that he shouldn't be seeing? Unless he thinks Lucian's going to use that as the way back in. He's going to yeah. seal it off. Because I'm just wondering if he's going to go through that tunnel and then he yeah. discovered that, that's, that he was sneaking away with his daughter. Yeah. Well, is he going to find the den with all the others? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, because if he finds all those and they unite behind him, it's over for the vamps. There's only a couple thousand in there. Is it alien? <laughs> no spoilers. I don't think the answer's seen it. I've seen that scene in how many things, you know. He He's going to kneel, isn't he? Oh. He's going to bend the knee? Kneel before Zod. Father. Oh, oh, oh I startle you. Creepy. I gave no thought to your feeling. Oh my god, he is so like. Did you help him escape? Help him? Of course not. What's I'm sorry, my dear. Uh, mm. But you leave me no choice. Oh! oh! Memories. Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, the memories yep. thing. Father, please. Oh! Oh, I love you. I love you more than anything. She does not leave this room. Oh, you're in for a big mm. surprise. Mm. See how this plays out. No, you're under orders to wait. This rate, we'll have enough men by the end of the week. Has there been any sign of Sonia? Nothing. With respect, Lucian, I do not see the wisdom in waiting for her. If she is deceived, you could lead them here. Ooh. They will eventually find us, but not by her doing. I trust Sonia with my life, and as long as I'm in command, so shall you. Tells you not to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Lucian has sacked two estates and brush off, my lord. You need to bring your pet back. Thank you, Colum. The obvious escaped me. <laughs> <laughs> Lucian will return of his own free will. My lady. My lady. Oh, it's not her. Luca. He knows about the two of you. I thought you should know. Oops, got a little something. Yeah, you got a little schmutz. <laughs> hey, there's a guy. Who's Nothing this yet. guy now? 
Who is that? It's a trap. It's Craven. I will not let her die alone. That wasn't the actor who played Craven, was it? Looked oh. like him. Looked like him to me, anyways. I don't yeah. think that was Craven. Well, let me know in the comments <laughs> if I'm wrong. Them together until I get back, and leave them if I do not. It would make sense if it was Craven. Because he was there to witness everything. Yep. Look at him just <laughs> sitting in his throne. Just waiting. I swear I saw something move down there. Huh, just a box. <laughs> just a box. So he's going on a solo mission here. Got, I'm surprised he's he got to go back with the crew, you know? Mm. Maybe, think, he, maybe he thought stealth would be better than an outright battle. St I think to start it would be. Yeah, just to get Sonya out of there. Because you saw how many people are looking down with all their big freaking arrows. Mm -hmm. Bring. <laughs> Oh! Oh, that was a leaker. Again, not as good. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, get out of there. Not as good coming through the double doors as Aragorn, but yeah. it's up there. We have to go now. That's not Craven. He's pretty angry, though. Mm -hmm. I'll give him that. Oh, oh, here's the trap. Yeah, here's the trap. Mm -hmm. Your daughter has escaped. Of course she That was cool. Running out of room. Well, there's... That's the one they want him to come out of. Oh. Oh, right through the neck. Oh. Whoa. Boy, there. Really going for the throat shots here. Oh, oh the back, back of that of neck. neck. Ah. You'd think, like, even as her father, he would try to just stop it. Yeah. Oh, the mule kick. She's got to use those uh, flying things in there. Please call up your men for the sake of your grandchild. Oh, oh there's the is. bomb. That's what he, happens on a cliff. I curse the day your mother gave her life to bring you into this world. <laughs> Remove him! This night was not about you, it was about him. If I had not left, none of this would have happened. Then you would not be who you are. No one should live a life like this. Things have forever changed because of what you have done. You said yourself there are risks that you were willing to take for me. This was I for you. Open it, oh boy. Oh, how's this gonna go? No! Oh, another arrow. Oh, it must have silver in it? Yeah, it must have been. The accused has committed high treason against the coven. I have saved this coven many times over. Your past glory does not excuse your present guilt. <sighs> mm. Wow. The punishment for these crimes is death. I. I. She is your daughter. I. Take her to the chamber. <sighs> That's it. Victor! Victor! No mercy in Victor. Oh man, is he actually showing some remorse? Oh yeah, this is what they showed. Daylight came. Yep. They're out in daylight. Yep. 
Yeah, we kind of know how this ends. Oh, no. oh, man, they're doing a... I mean, obviously, they can do a recreation, but it's so cool seeing it this soon. So she has to watch him get whipped, and then yep. he has to watch, watch her, her in the sunlight. Ugh. It's the second time his back has been turned into hamburger. Yeah. Well, they have a retractable yeah. roof. Yep. You gotta open it up. No, just, just look at me. Keep your eyes on me. Sonia, look at me! I love you. And I love you. Oh, man. Your face will not be here when this is over, will it? Goodbye, my love. Oh. 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 Well, I mean... Yeah. It was quick. I mean, if nothing else. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, rest easy knowing that Victor gets his. Yeah, but a few hundred years later. Oh, now. they forgot to close the roof. Yep. And he doesn't have his collar on. Yeah. Well, remember in the movie they they in the other underworlds. They showed this scene. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, yeah. I'm so like wrapped up in what just happened to her. I <laughs> yeah. forgot about that. Fetch my knives. Yeah. Pushing it out, yeah. Yeah, there's the escape. Mm hmm. Oh, no, just smushing their faces. Oh. Oh, is he calling them? Oh, that must yeah. have been a call to the other one. He's calling them. Oh, that's a lot. Uh huh. Well, of course, he yeah. Yeah, this uh, this part wasn't in the story that no. they told us in the other movies. I don't think you got enough men there, boss. No. Yeah. 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 Home scream. Too many. <laughs> Way too many. Oh, Ooh. Oh, and there goes your council. Yeah. Oh, that's the bad now, one. Now go free the others. Go. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's got to be Kane. <laughs> Who's got the key? I don't need it. Oh, lost an arm. It's it's hard seeing him being like a badass after seeing him as the leader of the Volturi and, yeah. and Twilight, you know, but he's, he's 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 pulling it off. Yeah, he is. It's the dark hair and the grizzled look and all. Yeah. Chest rug, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas he was like pretty clean and white haired. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing says I'm here to mess stuff up like a trench coat and like a solid, like good, like, you know, five out of ten chest rug. <laughs> Someone uh, retreating? Yeah. How will I be able to find him? Oh, he just keeps trapping his clothes off. This dude's bailing. Yeah. Well, I would yeah, he's got all oh. the he's got all the head vamps in there. You've defiled my daughter. I am pretty sure you're the one that killed her. Uh. Ooh. 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 Oops. Ooh. Ah, the sunlight. That's what he needs. I should have pushed you under my heel the 
that you were born. Oh! 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 Oh, oh man! Oh, we got him good. Well, but as we've seen, not good enough. Ah, uh, yeah. he got he let him. Yeah. Is Tannen gonna save him? Pretty clear who won this battle. Yeah. Who said it is finished? For now. No. This is just the beginning. Oh. Oh. Here it is. Nice. Yeah. Having a sleep. Oh. <laughs> He's the one who killed your family. He just couldn't bear the thought of draining you dry. Who reminded him so much of his precious Sonya, the daughter he condemned to death. Ah, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, I do believe that is it. All right. All right, Underworld, Rise of the Lycans with a new lead, and we finally see the whole backstory play out that we already knew. And it was kind of a bummer, right? Because we saw that scene where Sonya was chained up and, and Lucian was on the ground. And we're like, ah, like, oh, we've seen this, you know, just in the other mm. movie. So we kind of know how it's going to play out. But they did do a nice twist on it at the end. Lucian didn't just escape like they told us in, in the other movie. There was the, the whole battle and everything else. And they essentially took over and won the, uh, the castle or the keep or whatever you want to call that. And so... Like Lucian said, it was just the beginning. Uh, this one was a lot of fun. I'm really, I got to be honest, guys, I'm really getting sucked into the whole underworld <laughs> mythology story because I think this is one, and we talk about this, you know, quite a bit. Uh, would this be better if it was like a, a series on TV or is it better as the movies? Because, you know, we would be in probably episode uh the six or seven, maybe, maybe five or six, if, if this was a uh, just a series on TV, which I think would also work well. But I like how they had this one come in as a nice tie-in to kind of set the story a little bit. I don't know how it was... Uh, uh, how everybody out there, you know, felt about it, like in terms of like a Rotten Tomatoes type score or anything like that, or or how much money it made. I don't know that. Uh, we'll probably get to that a little bit later. But mm -hmm. this one was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I thought uh, I thought Rona Mitra really crushed it, and uh, you know, we saw Lucian uh, Michael Sheen do really well as Lucian. Like you said, it was neat to see him in a little bit different role than uh, mm -hmm. than what we had seen him in previously. So, yeah, and we I, I always like backstories. I always like origin stories. This one was no different. This was a lot of fun. Now, my glowing review aside, look, there was some issues maybe a little bit with the CGI, but you yeah. know, I, I think your hands are almost kind of tied a little bit when it comes to doing CGI with like werewolves and the transformation. I mean, unless you spend some serious money, it's it's hard to to do that transition and kind of do it justice. Uh, you know, some of the scenes with the wolves running, eh, you know, but I can let it go because I enjoyed the story, so I can kind of look past the CGI, given it was 2009 that still is quite a ways away yeah. so this one was a lot of fun even with the uh okay so it did so it was a 35 million dollar budget they yeah. still won't give them yeah. any damn money to make these movies what is going on and it made 91.4 million that's that's a huge return on investment so obviously they were successful all of you out there love this franchise and uh i'm i'm starting to get on it and it looks like rotten tomatoes was not too kind on it uh 29 but again i've said it before with the underworld series and i'll say it again if you're a fan of this genre this type of movie i think you're gonna enjoy it uh yeah i mean there this was still in the time when they were teetering on doing the practical with CGI, you saw so that with some of the so you saw that with some of the wolves that you know it looked like it was very like we'll refer to it as thriller esque, where it is it's very, even though that seemed like it was a little more done than this, but yes, exactly right, thirty five million for the budget, but yeah, Michael Sheen I thought was he did pretty good all in this one, all right, but uh in, you know trying to be that that leader that he was in the first one, and be, whereas it's funny if you would watch it in chronological order here you'd see that he's you know the good guy and then yeah. you watch the first underworld and you'd be like oh 
what's wrong? Don't they <laughs> what like this guy? Yeah, what happened to my I guy? This, I thought this guy was a good guy. So, uh, which we didn't learn, you know, until the end where we saw, you know, what Victor had all done to Sanja and everything and everything with that. But man, his back out worked over twice with those whips. Yeah, and the arrows. And the, the and you know, we saw the things and we have saw we saw how the technology then changed where it was silver arrows mm -hmm. and silver uh I don't want to uh, grappling kind of hook mechanisms. Oh yeah, the bigger yeah. spears to yeah, try and they you know, go in with the chains, go and, all the way through. Yeah. To where now the technology is the silver is liquid in the bullet, you know, yep. type the deal. So yeah, it's still like a fun story. It was, it was a nice. I mean, like you said, it was an hour and twenty minutes, so it was an easy watch to kind of get the whole backstory. Yeah, they did spent. What do you want to say? Ten minutes of screen time of the first Underworld, if that. Yeah, showing, showing what all this was. So it was nice to actually see that, yeah, he was discovered by Victor. Victor kept him alive and then kept him as a slave, but gave him a pampered sort of speak. Just life. enough to keep just you enough, around. Just enough nope. to keep you around. And he, even at the end, he's like, I I was too nice to you. He's like, really? <laughs> oh, because cause he was a... He was a he was, you know, a blacksmith. You're, you're being nice to him. Yeah. I mean, he just saved your daughter, you know, from twice from doom, apparently. You know, and so it was kind of neat though to see the whole beginning and the rise, rise of Lucian. So it was very entertaining, but you know, it's still held back by the times and by the budget. Yeah. I think if they double that budget, granted, then they, I mean, they could have, would have probably got the same box office. It could have maybe even been even better mm -hmm. than what it was but i was still entertained yeah i mean three movies and they still won't give them a budget i think yeah their their budget is still not even that of like one avengers movie. i think no. this is less of a budget if i recall the last i think it was like 20 something for the first one and then i think they about doubled the budget for the the, the second, second one so well, i think evolution the had yeah, 40, yeah the second one had a budget of 45, 45 million. million so they were like yeah you know what we could probably cut the budget back a little bit and, uh, you know, cut it back to 35. I got to be honest. This is one of the few times. 22 for the first one. <laughs> this is, yeah. yeah. So 22, they doubled it, you know. Uh, they, this is one of the few times I really disagree with the Rotten Tomato score. Hmm. I liked this I one. know, right? Yeah. Same I thought it's a good this, story. Look, I thought this one... And look, I like the, the the medieval pieces and stuff like that. You know, I've said in the past, you know, I, I used to not get into medieval pieces if they involve some sort of fantasy type stuff like Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is I liked like Gladiator and Braveheart and, and the 300, even though that was embellished a lot. Robin but I mean, th those type pieces I really liked. But I, I got to be honest, like I enjoyed this one a lot more than the recent ones mm -hmm. or the, the first two i shouldn't say okay. the recent ones the the, the the when the when the uh the, the storyline was more recent I, you know i i think part of me like with some of the vampire stories um i have a harder time dealing with like why do all the modern vampires still have to dress like that yeah. They're in the castle and they all have long hair and wear silk shirts and stuff like that so like the the modern like vampire you know like the the, the way the Volturi was portrayed in Twilight it's kind of like eh. <laughs> I just I just have a hard time getting into the ruffled shirts um, so this story brought us back to you know medieval ages um, and I thought they did a really good job with that I saw one of the the one of the critiques on Rotten Tomatoes uh, it was an indistinguishable and unnecessary prequel. I don't. I don't agree. I with don't that. think it was an unnecessary prequel. Now, granted, they did give us. Here's here's why I understand why somebody called it unnecessary. They did spend a pretty fair amount of time in the first two laying out the backstory. Yeah. Right. Right. So, yep. they, but they laid out the backstory of uh, the the lichens versus the vampires, where this one really gave us a backstory of uh, of our main character. So it really told the backstory of Lucian why he's as passionate as he is how you know how, how this all played out and look i thought it was a good movie i thought the story was more entertaining for me for the first two again i liked the settings um mm -hmm. i liked seeing more victor i like his character uh the, the cgi and, and answer brings yeah. answer yeah. brings up a good point and so did mason quinn um vampires um that's one thing Werewolves is is difficult because you it's almost like you have to have some sort of 
like special effects as far as like uh, like the costume and the wardrobe goes because there's so much like movement and stuff yep. there. It almost feels like, especially for 09, that it would have been too much CGI to have every single werewolf just be all CGI and the transformation. Mm -hmm. You want to have something tangible and not just CGI. So there's there's difficulties with that. Um, you know, I don't know that I've ever seen a, a great, great werewolf transformation. Yeah, it seems like they either you know? do it really fast or you have the slow yeah. kind of traditional one. Like where, in, ah, it's in, popping in, out of my hand. Like in Twilight, it was interesting because they just turned to wolves. They didn't yeah. turn to werewolves. I mean, they mm -hmm. were just giant wolves. wolves. Yeah. Remember the scene where uh, Jacob, like, runs and jumps, and it's like, boom. It just sheds it's off. Just yeah. close shed off, boom. Yep. And, I, and, and to be honest... Uh, I want to give credit to Twilight for doing that because they won with just having wolves. You get rid of the, okay, how do we do the awkward, whatever. Mm -hmm. and granted, there was some not so great CGI in, in Twilight, but it also, they're just like, oh, how do we make this transformation look cool? Uh, let's not try to. Yeah, just <laughs> make it fast. <laughs> cool. And so, you know, I, I get like everybody wants to do the Michael Jackson thriller where you see them transforming into a yeah. werewolf. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's 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 not always as glamorous as you think it's going to be. So I don't mind the like boom, the making it happen all at once. Um, no, again, how how that works with CGI or special effects? I get with makeup and special effects, you kind of have to take it step by step to show the transformation yep. happening. Mm -hmm. It's got to kind of happen at once. Um, it's a little 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 outside of my wheelhouse. Yeah. But in any regard, look, yeah. I, I, as far as being my favorite, um, or as far as my favorite of the three, this one is definitely it. And it actually, like, like, uh, you know, because there's what three more? Yeah, I think, there's, I think there's three like more. That. Yeah, and I almost like am like, uh, is is Rona Mitra in the next one, or do we go back to? I think. I we, think we go back, back to, to present. present day with Kate. Oh yeah, yeah. Jesus, yeah. sorry, yeah, sorry, Rona thinking? Mitra. She passed. Never yeah. mind. She wouldn't be in the next one. It has to go back to pass Kate on screen. Too. Sorry. On screen, so, on screen. So, 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 yes, you passed on screen. Sonya. Sorry, I'm getting so I'm getting so like worked up and like, oh, I love this one. Are we going to see her back? Are we going to see her back again? No, yeah. her character, her character got yeah. uh, off. Um, but in any regard, I don't know, guys. I, I'm like, I if I'm being honest, I came into this one like, okay, you know, we'll we'll, we'll see. It'll 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 be entertaining, you know, mm -hmm. for as, as much as I, you know, had some criticisms of the first two. You know, they were entertaining. I really liked this. One. Yeah, I mean, I think they did really well with the fight scenes. They definitely spared no expense on the gore factor there. No. So they gave you some pretty realistic fight scenes. They had the cool slow mo when Sonya and, and Lucian were fighting in kind of the courtyard. They they did some really cool stuff with there. So I mean, yeah, I mean, I think if you're a fan of werewolves and and vampires and and everything in between, vampires, I think that the uh, the Underworld series is a course of favorite. And you know, look, it shows in the box office. They you know they haven't given these guys anything for a budget, and they're still making it happen. So uh, yeah, I've I really enjoyed it. Well, and, and oh, it's over there, the bigger one. And anyways, well, the the reason too for the practical is because of that bat the budget is so much smaller. You can spend the extra money on you know CGI right. if you get it. So. Yep. So I am going to give this one a 3.45 out of 5 answers. I really enjoyed it. I rated this uh, above number 1 and just slightly under number 2. So that's where it ranks for me. Again, I loved the, the standalone origin story, uh, but it was you know very tight and very compact. You know, hour 20, hour 25 whatever it was but either way a lot of fun and we got some backstory and some of our favorite characters and that's what i like is that we've been through three movies now we know these characters we know victor we know lucian we know marcus we kind of know what happened so it's it's really cool that way yeah it's good for us to know them because now they're not going to be in the next film so that's great <laughs> glad we got to know, know them uh for me i uh, just thought it was just as good as the other ones um i think my score is right on the same with the second one with a 3.5 is still fun it, michael sheen was great in it i thought he did a really good job at being lucian and then obviously uh good old bill 
Let's get him right here. Bill Nye as Victor just crushing. And Rona, <laughs> Rona Mitra, I wish she did had more roles because she was really good in this as well. So, yeah, it was still fun, and it was still an easy watch, you know, being an hour and 20. It was a nice, easy watch. Yeah, yeah so far, my favorite of the three, and while there are some criticisms that we've talked about, I thought this was a really good movie. Again, I'm a little bit partial to medieval-type pieces, but I liked this story. I, I thought Rona Mitra was phenomenal in this victor plays such a good bad mm -hmm. guy yeah i like some of the twists and turns and uh i don't know i thought i thought this was like <laughs> you know look it's still it's the, my my score still starts with a three it's right three yeah, yeah, five. yeah but uh given what i had uh, had for expectations coming in this was pretty good yeah, yeah. so three down <laughs> What, three to go? Yeah. Three to go. So maybe there's more on the way. Who yeah, knows? knows? <laughs> so we'll be right there with you. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.